Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Brilliance Canister Vacuum Cleaner. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I am going to show you the ins and outs of your Brilliance machine. And I'm gonna show you what you should have in your box. And then I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview, a little bit more in depth on each item that you have in your box. Then I'm gonna show you how to assemble and use each item, kind of more in a real time scenario. So i give you my little tips and tricks along the way. So this is the Mila canister. This is the Brilliant. So this should be in your box. You should have an electric telescoping wand, your extra large hard flooring parquet twister attachment, your dual function combination flooring attachment, your electric carpeting power head with the LED lights, and then you should have your hose and your handle. You should have two manuals. One is going to be for your canister body, and then the other is going to be for your electric carpeting power head. So why don't you just take a few minutes, make sure that you unbox everything, uh, make sure every single thing is accounted for. If something is missing, please reach out to us. You can call us, you can live chat us on our website, you can email us, we're here and happy to help. If there's anything that is not here, that you, there's something that's missing, that you don't have something that's here, please reach out to us, this is your time. So now that you've made sure that you have all of these components, I'm gonna go a little bit more into depth about what each of these are. So this is your canister body. This is your electric telescoping wand and how it telescopes is that you have a button on the back of your wand. And if you press that button, you can extend or retract your wand. This is great because it's gonna give you that added link to, for any specialty cleaning needs that you have, whether it's getting the cobwebs at the top of the ceiling or if you're cleaning your baseboards um, or if you're very tall or very short, it, this is a great feature that the Mila canisters have is that you get to tailor your machine. So this is the extra large hard flooring attachment. I don't know if you can tell how large this tool is, but this is 16 inches in length. So this is just like their regular parquet twister, except you have an additional um, few inches. So this will be great if you have a large areas of hard flooring. It's just a larger surface area and um, this will um, cut down on your cleaning time. So this um, parquet is uh, hard flooring attachment is very good. So you have bristles of varying lengths. This will get in the cracks and crevices of any hard flooring, any grout that you have on your tiled surfaces. We love this hard flooring attachment. It glides and turns and maneuvers around furniture, under furniture, you can lay it flat. Very, very nice feature on that hard flooring attachment. So with this Brilliant machine, you will get three cleaning, three flooring attachments for cleaning. So you have this nice combination flooring attachment. And the reason that Mila included that with this model is because if you have any delicate carpeting in your home or you have delicate area rugs, anything that you cannot clean with a spinning brush roll, then you're gonna wanna use this attachment. So you have a little lever on the front portion of your flooring attachment and that lever is gonna control bristles. It's either gonna push the bristles out for hard flooring, and it's gonna retract the bristles for any delicate carpeting or carpeted surfaces that you may have. So if you press that lever, you will press out your bristles. This would be for hard flooring. And then if you press it the opposite way, it's gonna retract those bristles and that is gonna be for your carpeted surfaces. This is a really nice tool to have to use in between cleaning. So you don't wanna take the time to use your hard flooring attachment and then change it to the, the electric carpeting power head. You just wanna, you know, companies coming over, you wanna quick clean. This is a really nice tool to have. And then you have your electric carpeting power head. So on your power head, you are going to, if you're standing behind it like I am, there are going to be two buttons. So there's a, a button on the back left that is going to release your 
your wand from the upright lock position so you can clean your flooring. And then the button on the back is going to control your height settings for your carpeting power head. So this is something that has to be done manually for this machine. So what you're gonna do is level five is gonna be the furthest away, level one is gonna be the closest to your carpeting. So we recommend you start at level five, work your way down to you have a, a very easy, you're, you're just pushing your vacuum along, you're just basically steering it. You should not be struggling, it should not getting bogged down in your carpeting. It should be very, very easy. Basically, you're just steering your vacuum around. So um, make sure you play around with your height settings. It's going to take a little bit of time just getting used to, but once you know what all carpeting levels um, each of your area rugs or your carpeting takes, it's going to make it a lot easier in the long run. So level five, again, highest, furthest away from your carpeting. So if you have really high pile carpeting, start there. Um, very, very low, flat pile carpeting, level one, you'll be good to go. So I'm going to show you how to release your lever. So if you press this back left button, it'll release your wand and then you are able to clean um, to your heart's desire. Okay, so this is your hose and your hose handle is already installed on there. And then the nice feature about the Brilliant is you can control all of your functions from your handle minus your height setting on your carpeting power head. So when I said that this is the really the only thing that has to be done manual. You do need to choose the height setting for your carpeting. You don't, it's not gonna adjust it from your handle. But from your handle, you are able to turn your, your vacuum on or off and you're able to adjust your suction settings. Okay, so on your handle, you're going to have your suction controls, which are these plus and minus buttons. This button that's lit up is your power button and the one directly next to it is gonna turn your spinning brush roll on or off. So we're gonna turn the vacuum on. And then you notice your nice LED lights to light your cleaning path. You don't need to bend down. You don't need to step on anything. You can do it all from your handle. So this is really nice if you have shoulder, back issues, you don't want to bend down. It's very, very nice. You control everything via your handle. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, where to find your serial number, your model number, and the name of your vacuum cleaner. And the reason I'm going to tell you this is because, or the reason I'm going to show you this, is because if you need any replacement, um, parts or if you wanna add anything to your vacuum, it's really easy for us to know what vacuum you have. So if I can show you that now, you'll always know. So on the front portion of your vacuum, right beneath the Mila logo, you're gonna have your name. It's gonna say the Brilliant. And then if we're gonna flip your vacuum around to the back portion, you're gonna have a silver sticker. And on the silver sticker, you're gonna have two um, models, uh, well, two numbers that I want you to pay attention to. One is gonna be your model number, and that's gonna start with an S. And then it's gonna be followed by either numbers or letters or a combination of both numbers and letters. And then you're gonna have your serial number. Your serial number, starts with zero, zero slash, and then a nine digit number. And that nine digit number is your serial number. So when you go to register your machine, this is the serial number that you're going to use. So your machine has a five and 10 year warranty. It has five year all inclusive. So everything that you see here is covered for five years. And then for 10 years, your motor and your casing is covered. So that's a great feature of this vacuum is that it has the extended warranty. So on the outside of your vacuum, you're gonna notice you have a velvet bumper guard. So this is great if you bump into anything, walls, furniture, everything is just gonna just gently bounce off. There's no scratches, anything, no damage to your furniture or your walls. Very nice feature of this brilliant machine. And then on the underside of your vacuum, you also have LED lights. So as your vacuum is on and you're wheeling it around your home, it's gonna light its cleaning path, which is a very nice feature. And I will show you that later. When you initially go to turn on and set up your machine, you will need to turn on your power button 
and then you can control everything via your handle. If for some reason you start controlling everything via your handle and then you go to push your power button on, the next time you go to use it, you're gonna have to turn your power button and then um, turn your handle on. It's kind of like having two light switches in the same hallway. They have to be on the same frequency. So um, we have this question a lot with um, cleaning um, people when they come over and they clean your home and you know they may or may not they you know they have their own you know way of doing things of either touching the button or doing it on the handle and when you go to use it you do it the opposite way because of course right so just be mindful of that if it's not turning on if you see like an amber light try your handle try the power button you should be good to go so this um, button with a circle and the line through it, that's your power button. And then the opposite button is your cord winder. So when you are done cleaning, you're ready to put your cord back in the vacuum, you're gonna touch it once and the cord is gonna go be wound back up into the body of your canister so you don't have to wind a cord anymore. It's very excellent. So how you open your canister is there is a little I don't really know what you would call it, kind of like a lever, but you're gonna squeeze it and you're gonna pull. You would pull up, I'm pulling down. So you would be opening it this way. But for me showing you, I'm gonna do it this way. So there's a couple things I wanna show you on the inside of your canister. Specifically, I wanna start with the bag clip. So your bag sits in this nice little clip. And when you're ready to change your bag, this is what you're going to be removing from your machine. And this is the only thing you should be removing from your machine if you are changing your bag. Reason being is this clip stays inside the body of your canister, and that is gonna help your bag be at the proper placement for uh, you know, catching all of the things that you're cleaning and making sure that nothing is gonna spill out into your canister. So if you don't push your bag all the way in, or if you don't have this anymore, this is our number one replacement for the Mila canisters is a lot of our customers will just yank the whole thing out with their bag and then how are they gonna vacuum because you know, you can't put your bag inside anymore. So, but if that happens, we have these clips readily available. Please reach out to us, always happy to help. There is, I'm going to tilt this, another filter in your machine. All Mila's have two filters. You have a pre-filter and a post-filter. So um, this is your motor filter, which is your pre-filter. And you are going to access that by pulling down on that blue grate. And then this is your motor filter. We recommend that you change this motor filter every four bags or one box. And then that just goes back in there. And then this is your pre-installed HEPA filter. HEPA filters are good for about 50 hours of use. That equates to about one year to a year and a half. It will depend on how much you are cleaning, how often you are cleaning, and also how large your home may be. So just rule of thumb, a lot of people will write the date on their HEPA filter or they'll put it in their calendar. Um, I just write the date I put the HEPA filter in and I just remember to check it every few months. And when it gets to about a year, I just get in the habit of changing it. But you're gonna find what um, works best for you. There is also an indicator on the front portion of that HEPA filter. So if you are a little bit um, unsure, it will tell you. We recommend you change it before it gets all the way to full capacity. So let me put this bag in. Um, so the bag has arrows on the bag and the arrows, the direction on the arrows are gonna match the direction of the arrows in your canister bag clip. So to put it in, slide it in, you can jiggle it around a little bit and then you're just gonna tuck this in and your bag is gonna fill up like a 3D, like a big giant pillow. So these bags fill up pretty good. So to close your canister, you would just do that. And then now I'm gonna show you how to connect all of these pieces and then how to use them a little bit. So we're gonna put the vacuum down. And just so you know, the first time you go and you put your hose into your canister body, it may be a little tough to do so. Um, the reason they, they do this is because you want a very, very secure electrical connection to make sure that you're able to power your carpeting power head. So bear with me because these hoses are very, very stiff when they're new. So you are going to insert it this you, if you're looking at your canister, you'll see there's really only one way to put it in, but you're gonna have to kind of jam it in there. There we go. So make sure it's a really, really secure connection in there. And then to your 
hose, you can attach your wand. You can also attach your cleaning attachments, which you're probably like, hmm, where are my cleaning attachments? There is this nice little tool compartment storage in all of the C3 canisters. So this vacuum has the integrated tool storage, which is really nice. You can take your upholstery tool, your dusting brush, your crevice nozzle, you can attach it to the base of your handle, or you can also attach it to the end of your wand. So it depends on what you're cleaning and what you may use. And so it's a really nice versatile way. So then I'm gonna attach our wand and you're gonna attach the bigger side to your handle. Everything clicks in place. Again, you're gonna adjust it to the length that you need. And then I always like to show everybody that if you take one of your non-electric attachments, you can attach it in the base of your vacuum. So it's a really nice feature to have. You don't have to always keep turning on and off your vacuum cleaner. You can just pause, go pick up everything that's, you know, maybe in your way or, you know, move the table and then keep on cleaning um, because Mila's have such good filtration that it's like a mini air purifier in your home. So it's a really nice feature. So if you were going to be using your electric carpeting power head, you would attach it just like this. And then to remove your electric carpeting power head, you're gonna step down on this lever and you're gonna pull up. There you go. So I always like to show everybody how you do that just because it's very important to know um, how to take things on and off. So this is all of the attachments and things that are included with your Mila Brilliant canister vacuum cleaner. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. If anything doesn't make sense, we are always here and happy to help. We have US-based customer service and we can be available, we can be reached uh, via email, phone, or we have a live chat feature on our website as well. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.